Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and this uh, yellow trapezoid uh, ABEF put together as you can see in this uh, diagram along with this uh, perpendicular uh, CE such that uh, this side length uh, BC is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 units whereas uh, this uh, side length BE is uh, square root of 5 units. And moreover, this angle EBC is 90 degrees. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating uh, the area of this whole uh, yellow shaded region. And we can see from this equation uh, the yellow shaded region area equals to the rectangle ADEF area. This uh, rectangle area plus the area of this uh, right uh, triangle uh, BDE. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, ADEF and also the area of this uh, triangle uh, BDE. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBC. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, this side length uh, CE. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks with this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, square root of 5 whole uh, square plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 whole square equal to our longest leg is C E whole square. If we simplify this uh, square root of 5 whole square is 5 and this is going to give us uh, 20. So therefore uh, C E square turns out to be 25. Let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our this uh, CE length uh, turns out to be 5 units. So therefore our this uh, CE length uh, turns out to be 5. And in this uh, next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case our base is uh, 2 times square root of 5 and our height uh, is a square root of 5. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBC is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 2 times square root of 5 times uh, square root of 5 uh, once again. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 5. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBC turns out to be 5 square units. And now let's recall once again the area of the triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and this time uh, I'm going to label uh, this side uh, as our base and this uh, BD is going to be the height uh, of this uh, triangle. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this triangle is 5. So I'm going to put down 5 equals to 1 uh, divided by 2 times our base uh, CE is 5. So I'm going to write down times 5 and our height uh, is simply BD length. Now let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to remove uh, this uh, fraction. So therefore on the left hand side 2 times 5 is 10 uh, equals to this uh, cancels out. So we got 5 uh, times uh, BD length. Let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate uh, BD. So therefore uh, our BD length uh, turns out to be 2 units. So therefore our this uh, BD length uh, turns out to be 2 units. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDB. And we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, this side length uh, CD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So therefore our this length uh, CD whole square plus uh, 2 square 
equal to our longest leg is 2 times square root of 5 whole square. So now in this uh, next step we got cd square plus 4 equals 220. Let's subtract 4 from both sides. This is gone. So cd square turns out to be 16. Let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our cd length uh, turns out to be 4 units. So thus our this uh, cd length uh, turns out to be 4 uh, units. And we know that our this whole uh, CE length uh, is 5 units. And this uh, length uh, CD is 4. So therefore our this uh, DE length is going to be 1 unit. And now our only task is uh, to calculate this uh, side length uh, AD. And in this uh, next step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words some of these angles must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha since this is our 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And once again in this uh, triangle uh, this angle is alpha this is 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta so therefore uh, this remaining angle has got to be our angle alpha. So therefore we conclude that these two right triangle, uh, triangle ADC and this uh, other triangle BDC are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words we got the ratio of AD divided by CD equals to the ratio of CD and BD. And now we know our CD length uh, is 4. So I'm going to replace it by 4. Likewise this CD length uh, is 4 as well. And finally this uh, BD length uh, is uh, 2. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 to isolate uh, AD length. This 4 and 4 is uh, gone. So therefore our AD length uh, turns out to be 8 uh, units. So thus our this uh, AD length uh, turns out to be 8 uh, units. And you could have applied uh, this direct formula. It is called Euclid's uh, theorem. And here this height uh, is H. Uh, this segment is X. Uh, and this segment is uh, Y. And as a result we get H square equals to X times Y. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this rectangle uh, ADEF. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. In our case our length uh, is 8 and width is 1. So therefore the area of this rectangle is going to be 8 uh, times 1 is going to give us uh, 8. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, BDE. And once again let's recall the area of triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And this time our base uh, is 2 and the height uh, is 1. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 2 times uh, 1. And if we simplify that thing that is going to give us uh, 1. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. We already figured out this uh, rectangle area as 8 and this uh, triangle BDE area as 1. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got the rectangle area as 8 plus triangle area is 1. So therefore our yellow shaded region area turns out to be 9 square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 9 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.